It's Rain Maria here, the happily married hosts and producers of the Strip Live television talk show based in Las Vegas, founders of VegasNetMedia.com, and creators of VIPMastercast.com, where we showcase many of the world's most successful and influential people. We are joined by our special guest, Ken McArthur. Now, Ken is the best-selling author of Impact, How to Get Noticed, Motivate Millions, and Make a Difference in a Noisy World. Ken, I love this title of this book. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's great to talk to you. You know, Ken, a lot of uh, people we work with, authors, speakers, coaches, consultants, online marketers, one of the biggest things that motivates them, they often say, they're so passionate about getting their message out to the world and making a difference. We hear that yeah. a lot. They want to make a difference in the world. So along comes your book, which gives them almost like a blueprint to go ahead and get started in pursuing that passion. There's a reason I wrote that book. I, The reason I wrote the book was because I wanted to have an impact. I, I wanted to get noticed. I wanted to motivate millions. And I, I really, at the core, wanted to make a difference, you know, and I – I realized over time that we all have an impact, whether we want to or not, you know. Uh, you think, uh, <laughs> you know, if you really think about it, if we didn't have an impact, that would that would be a pretty wonderful life. You could eat whatever you want. Uh, if, you you know, somebody bothered you, you could kick the five-year-old kid. It wouldn't make any difference, <laughs> right? <laughs> but the truth is that we all impact thousands of people just in our day-to-day lives uh, that we come into contact with. And, you know, it's the small things in life that really have the, the biggest impact. Uh, the, the, uh, the things that you would think would have the huge impact are not necessarily what has the biggest impact in people's lives. As a matter of fact, at one of my events, uh, we actually polled people. We asked them two simple questions. The first question was, <clears throat> Um, you know, who's had the biggest impact in your life? And the second question was, how did they have that impact? And in 100% of the cases uh, at that event, there was one common thread that ran through the whole thing. Now, there were all kinds of people. It could have been a teacher. It could have been a friend. It could have been somebody off the street, you know. But uh, but the common thread was that the the single thing that had the biggest impact in their entire life was just a simple, kind word at the right time of encouragement. Uh, you know, a teenage mother who uh, learned very, very early on that she was pregnant and, and a teacher that might have uh, said, you can get through this. And, you know, she was at that event and she was saying, this person had the biggest impact in my entire life. And all they did was have that uh, that simple word of encouragement. And yet she was celebrating her daughter graduating from college at that same time. And so, you know, we think uh, that what we say and what we do doesn't really make that much difference. Uh, but for all of us, uh, we we don't even know the impact that we have. You know, at, at other of my live events, we've we've actually gone down the chain from a single conversation on the couch at a JV Alert live event. We actually had um, 90 minutes worth of people standing up and talking how people had impacted each other over and over and over again in a kind of a ripple effect, you know, what I call the impact factor that causes people to touch lives after life after life. And uh, in that room, millions and millions of dollars have been made uh, as a result of a single conversation on a couch. Uh, a teenage boy had gotten in the first hug of his life. Two people were alive because of the fact that we had a conversation on a couch. And 150 people were in that room because we had that conversation. And we all have conversations every day, and this conversation was no different than any other one. It was just simply, what do you want to do and how can I help you? And uh, we can all say an encouraging word of kindness at the right time. And uh, so if we can have a bigger impact and we have the art, science, and technology to make that possible, um, I'd like to see us, uh, you know, have more positive impact because it makes a difference in a real world. And for those uh, who are curious of what JV Alert is, is Ken actually brings people together, uh, online marketers, authors, and speakers, and coaches that, that really do have a powerful message. He brings them together in live events so that they can all work collaboratively in helping each other get their messages out to the world. So, Ken, uh, just tell our audience, I think everybody knows what they're 
what their reason is, what their why is, but they often don't know the, the how. What are some tips that you can give them in getting their messages out and helping to make more of a difference in people's lives? Yeah. Well, there's, you know, there are a couple of key things. I actually say there are three things uh, that are involved in, in making money online. And I think the same thing implies to having a, uh, applies to having an impact. You know, the first uh, thing is that you have to have something of real value to offer to people. And so in the case of making money, I'd say you have to have a product or service to sell. In the case of an author, maybe it's an idea that you want to sell. But you got to have something that you want to sell. Then you have to have an audience to sell that to. Uh, and uh, if you don't have an audience, you may have the greatest ideas in the world, and you aren't going to have the impact that you want. And the, the third element, the th third key element, is that you have to have conversion. That means that you have to take those eager fans, you have to instill those ideas or products into what they do to show them the value and convince them to convert. So the three things are you've got to have a product or service to sell, an idea, product, or service to sell. You have to have an audience to sell it to, and you have to have conversion. If you have all three you will have success, and uh, and if you don't have any one of those key elements, then you won't have success. You know, there's so many people I see that come to my live events, and and they're they're talking about you know uh, making millions of dollars, and and maybe they have a product or service, uh, but they don't have any audience. Well, they aren't going to have the impact that they want. Or maybe they have an audience and they don't have any products or services, any delivery system. They haven't finished the book. They haven't uh, finished the product. They haven't put together the real solution to a real problem that makes a difference. Um, if so, they need to work on that. And, and some people actually have audience and they have product or service, but they don't really have the keys to making those conversions. And, uh, you know, I sat down with uh, a friend of mine, Frank Sousa. He actually did a joint venture on the back of a napkin at, at one of my events, my JV Alert Live events, <laughs> at a net networking dinner. And as a result of that, he made multi-millions of dollars. Uh, <laughs> just an idea sketched out on the back of a napkin, turned into what was Traffic Geyser, and then later became this huge company and impacted thousands of people. But we sat, um, and the day that he sold out his interest in that company, uh, and we were celebrating his multi-million dollar check, um, you know, we had a conversation. What's the difference between the people who come to the events over and over again and seem to be in the same spot year after year and those people who come and do the multi-million dollar deals? And the key factor was the the people that had the success made their first dollar. They had all three of those key elements. They had the audience, the the product, and the conversion. And that can be as simple as an e-book, and you convince two people to buy it you know, that's a, a transaction going through the first uh, dollar, making the first dollar out of it, making the first sale. Because if you can do that, we have thousands and thousands of ways that we can make it better. We know how to get more audience. We know how to get more conversion. We know how to make better and better ideas, products, and solve real problems, you know. But uh, it's not so much that we need to know the what because we already know the what. What we need to do is we need to be clear about the things that absolutely have to happen to make that happen. Well, Ken, one of the, the portions of the book that I was really intrigued about and that I love that you address was the whole part of receiving money and feeling worthy to receive money because we believe that money really aids in our lifestyle and, and in helping others. So can you address some of those points in there? Well, you know, you know, it's it's a funny thing. I, I've been accused of of hating money from time to time, and oh, it's not really? that. Uh, believe me, uh, my my primary focus has never been on on making the money. You know, but but if if you uh, if you want to help the poor, you know, you, the the common saying is if you want to help the poor, uh, the first step is not. Uh, 
to uh, become one of them, you know. <laughs> and uh, we all need to support our dreams and our ideas, you know. Bill Gates didn't have enough money to uh, to uh, try and stomp out AIDS, so he had to go to Warren Buffett. You know, mm-hmm. so if if, if uh, Bill Gates is having you know money issues because they don't have enough money and resources to solve problems, then we can all use the power of uh, all kinds of resources, whether it's money or or people or intellectual property or you know any one of the the many 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 things that people have to contribute uh, to something good uh, but uh, but we just have to get over the idea that it doesn't take any resources that it doesn't take any cooperation that it doesn't take any um, it doesn't take uh, anything but us to do good in the world um, you know a lot of people kind of grew up with the philosophy uh, you know if if you're going to do something you're going to have to do it you know you're going to have to be the one that steps up to the plate and the truth is we can all uh, have so much more influence if we work together than if we're trying to do something alone Oprah Winfrey doesn't do it alone you know she she built that tremendous uh, impact of the show that reached masses and masses of people but how many people came on her show thousands of people that people were interested in how many camera people were there how many producers were there for every show how many people were out there publicizing that and making sure that it that it reached the masses of people or the engineers in the in the control rooms or the people who put up the radio towers, and the list goes on and on. We don't ever do anything by ourselves, and we need the resources to be able to keep those things going, you know, to support our dreams, uh, to make a difference in the world, because if we don't have those resources, then we aren't going to be able to focus. We aren't going to have the vision. We aren't going to have the time, and we aren't going to have the peace of mind that allows us to think the great thoughts, to feel the great emotions, you know, to think of something bigger, better, and uh, a more engaged and impactful world. Okay, Ken, I'll leave it in your hands to give uh, some inspirational closing comments to our audience of what they can expect if they were to uh, pick up your book and and apply some of the principles uh, to speak directly to our audience. Absolutely. Well, you know, there's so much you can get out of this book. Um, it's really about framing your your message, you know, starting out with one person, uh, getting noticed in a, in a noisy world because there are a lot of messages out there. You know, developing your own impact action plan so that you can have a personal impact in the world beyond just one life. You know, go out there and solve a real problem and give people what they want. You know, be be aware and, and watching for your 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 back end. You know, uh, the the way that you're going to support this vision, and then structure your ideas how to move. You know, like wildfire. I, I give a lot of examples about how to make sure that things are repeatable, so that you can get past the viral coefficient, so that you can have that exponential viral growth. You know, how to nail the quality, how to build the buzz. You know, how good ideas travel through them the mix and then you know who's here, who's listening to you who is your audience and how do you make that contagious and spread your ideas automatically and how do you build up the pressure so that you can launch you know like a steaming hot fire hose you know how can you uh, build systems to support that and how can you uh, you know make a difference if you can't pay the bills uh, because uh, you want to build something that's going to last beyond one lifetime. You want your ideas, products, and services and the difference you made in the world to go on without you and and have an impact beyond one life. That's what the book's about. It's really about delivering huge value and the way that we can work together to make that so much more efficient and so more, much more powerful and leverageable. And so, Ken, for people out there, we want them to go ahead and get the book. Um, they just simply go to Amazon.com and uh, search your name, Ken MacArthur. Is that the easiest way? Yeah, that's the easiest way to get. Uh, you know, there's lots of books on impact, but uh, but there's o- only one Ken MacArthur. <laughs> so <laughs> so type uh, Ken MacArthur. That's K E N. Uh, M-C-A-R-T-H-U-R on Amazon, and you'll see a couple of books that I've written uh, to help you impact the world, and and I hope that uh, we'll be able to connect. 
Well, thank you so much for your work and for impacting us today and impacting the world and making a difference in this noisy world. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Hey, Ray and Maria, this has been a fantastic interview. I've really enjoyed spending time with you. You know, it's it's wonderful to be able to laugh with somebody and yet at the same time to have an impact in people's lives. I know you're having a huge impact uh, in the people that you reach, and you do it with a sense of humor. You do it with heart and soul, uh, and you do it with intellect. You know, you, you see the insights that um, and bring out the insights that uh, people really need to to see, I hope that um, you've uh, you've had a good time with me, and I've certainly had a wonderful time being interviewed uh, by you. Uh, go out and do good stuff because uh, that's what makes the world a better place, and you certainly are doing that right now. <laughs>